Welcome to N2 Electrical Trade Theory. This is chapter 8 on transformers. A single phase transformer consists of an iron core. The iron core is divided up into many segments, almost like a loaf of bread that is thinly sliced up. Now these laminated steel sheets reduce the effects of eddy current, heat loss and energy loss. The operation of a single phase transformer uses a term called mutual induction where alternating currents applied to the primary winding sets up a magnetic field. The magnetic field set up in coil A cuts through coil B and generates an EMF in coil B. Three methods for cooling of transformers. We use natural air cooling, forced air cooling, and oil cooling. We like to use oil because oil has got good heat resistant insulating properties. Here's the equation for single phase transformers. The equation in order to balance out must be V1 over V2, N1 over N2, and I2 over I1. Now the reason why I2 is on top is because current behaves in the opposite manner to the number of turns and the voltage. V1 represents the primary voltage, V2 the secondary voltage, N1 the number of primary turns, N2 the number of secondary turns, I2 is the alternating current through the secondary winding, and I1 is the alternating current through the primary winding. If we have a look at this table, these are the formulas we're going to be using for single phase. The letter P represents true power, and the units is kilowatt. The symbol Q represents reactive power, and the units is volts, amps, reactive. The symbol S represents apparent power, and the units is volts, amp. Let's have a look at our first example. We have a 220 volt, 10 volt single phase transformer. It has 50 turns on the secondary side. If the transformer draws 1,5 amps from the supply, calculate the following. Number one, the number of primary turns, and number two, the current delivered to the load, and number three, the rating of the transformer. Let's first draw uh, the core of the single phase transformer and label it fully with all the information in front of us. We've got 1,5 amps being drawn from the supply. I2, which is the current being supplied to the load, is the unknown factor. We've got V1, which is 220 volts. V2, which is 10 volts. So this makes it a step down transformer. And we have 50 turns on the secondary side. Now to calculate the number of primary turns, we're gonna use voltage. Voltage are the known factors. So we want to work with known factors as far as possible. So if we substitute those values into our equation. Now in order to manipulate this equation, the N1 is above the line and therefore V1 and V2 is going to stay the same. V1 is 220 volts. V2 is 10 volts. And the number of turns on the secondary side is 50 turns. And that gives us the number of primary turns of 1,100. Now to calculate I2, which is the current delivered to the load, we're still going to be using voltage because that is our known factors to try and minimize the amount of mistakes we could make. Remember, I2 is on top. Uh, we've got R2, which, which is the unknown factor that is above the line. Therefore, V1 and V2 will stay the same. We multiply that by the primary current. 220 divided by 10 multiplied by 1,5 gives us a secondary current of 33 amps. Now to calculate the rating of the transformer and the symbol S which represents apparent power as well. There's no square root 3. This is a single phase calculation. So it's going to be V1 multiplied by I1. The voltage on the primary side is 220, current on the primary side is 1,5 amps, and we get 330 volts amps. Now to confirm that this calculation is correct, let's calculate the rating of the transformer for the secondary side, and they should be exactly the same. And we get the same answer. So now we know that all our calculations are correct. Okay, let's have a look at our second example. Now we've got a 2,5 kVA single phase transformer with a turns ratio of 1 is to 5 and it is connected to a 200 volt supply. 
So this is a step up transformer. The rating of the transformer is 2500 volts amps. Okay, first part of the question, calculate the secondary current. Now you'll notice that we don't have V2, so we're not able to substitute V1 and V2 into our equation. However, we have been given the rating of the transformer. We've got 1 on the primary and 5 on the secondary. The voltage on the primary is given, which is 200 volts. So the unknown factor is V2. So how do we calculate V2? Now 200 is going to be the smaller value. It's going to go into itself once. Therefore, 200 will go into the larger value five times. So if we say 200 multiplied by five, and that will give us a thousand. Now we still need to calculate the secondary current. We've got uh, the rating of the transformer. We can actually use that formula. So to calculate I2, it'll be the apparent power divided by V2. So the apparent power divided by V2 is 2,500 volts amps divided by 1,000 volts. And that gives us a secondary current of 2,5 amps. Now to calculate the primary current, we can use the equation or we can use our voltages, V1 over V2. Now R1 is below the line, therefore we're going to swap V1 and V2. Let's substitute the values into that equation. V2 is 1000 volts, V1 is 200 volts, and the current on the primary side is 2,5 amps. And that gives us a primary current of 12,5 amps. Now to calculate the secondary voltage, we can use our equation in this instance. Our equation or our ratio is 1 is to 5, 1 on the primary, 5 on the secondary. And we have actually calculated this in the first part of the question. Therefore, V2 will be 1000 volts. Okay, example three. A single phase transformer has 2000 primary turns and 500 secondary turns. Therefore, this is a step down transformer. For a supply voltage of 220 volts, calculate the following. Okay, we're first going to draw our single phase core. We're going to label everything, substitute all the values in that we've been given, and we can try and determine what the unknown values are. Now, to calculate the turns ratio, we haven't been given voltage. Voltage is unknown on the secondary side. However, we do have the number of turns. So N1 is 2,000 turns, and N2 is 500 turns. 500 is a smaller value, and therefore it will go into itself once. How many times will 500 go into 2,000? It will go four times. So our ratio is 4 is to 1. Okay, to calculate the secondary current, if the primary current is 4,2 amps, so we've been given a bit of additional information here. Current on the primary side is 4,2. Now we're going to use our equation. The number of turns is given, so let's rather work with known values as far as possible. Because I2 is on top, it means that N1 and N2 will remain the same. N1 is 2000, N2 is 500, multiplied by the primary current of 4,2. And that gives us a secondary current of 16,8 amps. Okay, let's calculate the rating of a transformer. Now we can calculate the rating of a transformer using the primary side or the secondary side and we should get the same answer. Now looking at this diagram, we know that we have been given current. Okay, so our voltage is 220 and current on the primary side is 4,2 and that gives us a rating of 16,8 volts amps. What will the output power be if the power factor is 0,8. Now this single phase transformer, we're going to assume it's 100% efficient, which means there are no losses. So we could calculate P1 or we could calculate P2 and we should get the same power. Okay, so calculate P1. 
it's going to be V1 multiplied by I1 multiplied by the power factor. V1 is 220, I1 is given is 4,2 amps, and the power factor, which is cos theta, is 0 0,8, and that gives us 739,2 watts. Okay, we're going to move on to the next topic, which is three-phase transformers. Now, before we do some calculations, let's just remind ourselves that our three-phase transformer could be connected in delta star or star delta. However, the formulas remain the same. So for delta, V ln is always equal to V phase, and for star, I L is always equal to R phase. When using the equation for three-phase transformers, we must use phase values. Therefore, it's going to be V phase 1 over V phase 2, and R phase 2 over R phase 1. Now, the formulas, if we look at the table, because we're dealing with three-phase transformers, we're going to be using square root 3. It's also important to note that these formulas are going to be using line values. Okay, we've got a three-phase transformer, a 400 kVA delta star transformer has a turns ratio of 10 is to 1. The transformer supplies a load of 380 volts. Calculate the following. So first of all, let's draw our symbols. We've got delta on the primary, star on the secondary. We've been given the rating of the transformer, which is 400,000 volts amps. We've been given the turns ratio. We've got 10 on the primary and 1 on the secondary. We've been given secondary line voltage of 380 volts. Now, they never specified phase or line, so therefore I'm going to assume it is line voltage. To calculate the supply line voltage, which is VL1, now before we can work out VL1, we haven't been given any voltages on the primary side. Therefore, let's first try and determine what the phase voltage is on the secondary side, and then there's a few options we could use. We could probably use the turns ratio. So to calculate V phase 2 on the secondary side, it's star connected. V phase 2 will be equal to VL2 over square root 3. And that gives us 219,393 volts. Now remember that the original question is asking for the primary line voltage. It's also important to note on the primary side it's delta connected. Therefore, VL1 is equal to V phase 1. So if we use our turns ratio, we've got 10 on the primary, 1 on the secondary. We've worked out the uh, secondary phase voltage. The secondary phase voltage will go into itself once. Therefore, how many times will it go into V phase 1? 10 times. So we can use a little bit of maths, 219,393 multiplied by 10. And that gives us 2,193,93 volts. Or v phase 1. Now it's important to note that VL1 is equal to a V phase 1, so it'll be the same voltage of 2193,93 volts. To calculate the secondary phase current, well we don't have any current given to us on the secondary side. Um, we've got the rating of the transformer, we've got the turns ratio, so if we use the rating of the transformer, now remember we must use square root 3. We can calculate the line current, and because it's star connected, we notice that on the secondary side, the line current and the phase current is exactly the same. All right, so S2 is equal to square root 3 multiplied by VL2 multiplied by IL2. So to calculate the secondary line current, it is the apparent power or the rating of the transformer divided by square root 3 and divided by VL2, which was given to us. The rating of the transformer is 400,000 volts amps divided by square root 3, and the secondary line voltage is 380 volts. And that gives us the secondary line current of 607,737 amps. And that's going to be exactly the same as the secondary phase current because it is star connected. Now to calculate the primary phase current, we can use our equation. 
we have actually worked out the secondary phase current. Uh, the equation is it's 10 on the primary, 1 on the secondary. So we've got 607,37 amps on the secondary side. Now that value is the larger value. So therefore we need to work out what the primary phase current will be. Now 607,37 divided by 10 would give us 60,737 amps. Okay, let's look at example 5. A three phase transformer has a delta connected primary and a star connected secondary. The transformer is connected to a 11 kilovolt supply. The secondary phase voltage is 220 volts. Calculate the following. So first of all, let's draw our symbols. We've got delta on the primary, star on the secondary, or delta VL1 is equal to V phase 1. We're being given a line voltage of 11,000 volts, therefore the phase voltage will be the same. On the secondary side, we were given a secondary phase voltage of 220 volts. Now to work out the turns ratio, it's going to be V phase 1 over V phase 2. V phase 1 is 11,000 volts, V phase 2 is 220 volts, 220 will go into itself once, how many times will 220 go into 11,000? 50 times, therefore the ratio is 50 is to 1. What will the primary, li primary line current be if the transformer delivers 200 amps to the load? So the primary question is asking for IL1. Now looking at our equation, we've got V phase 1 and we've got V phase 2. So to calculate R phase 1, it's going to be V phase 2 over V phase 1 multiplied by R phase 2. R phase 1 will be equal to 220 over 11,000 multiplied by 200. And that gives us a primary phase current of 4 amps. However, we're not finished yet. Remember the question is asking for the line current. So to calculate the line current, it's going to be square root 3 multiplied by R phase 1. Therefore, the primary line current is 6,928 amps.